What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. I paid $330 for $2,140 worth of Amazon tech returns. The catch, I have no idea what's inside these boxes. Welcome back to episode seven of Unloaded, the series where we bid on these you know, Amazon tech return auctions, and then when we get them in, it's kind of like Christmas in July, except it's March and almost April. Uh, these liquidation warehouses, they buy a bunch of Amazon tech returns, they manifest them, and they sell them on this website, so we bid on it, it's like eBay, and now we have three big boxes here to unbox for you guys today. But before we begin, I have to admit a goof. A big goof from episode six. Hey, I'm filming Unloaded. Corgis, man. So in episode six, we got a lot of good stuff, like more than usual. Like it was to the point where the stuff we were getting was adding up much more to the overall worth. And I was even saying like, okay, this isn't right. There's like a lot of good stuff here. I forgot what the value was, but it was like nearly double what I was expecting. But what happened was when I got them on the pallet, there were six boxes total. So I, f I just figured, okay, it must be broken up three each for of the two auctions that I won and received. So I just found the tracking number for one of them, uh, for the one order. I said, okay, this is the three of them. I'll put them aside and unbox these three. But what really was supposed to happen was episode six was, just, was supposed to be two of those boxes. And this auction was, I guess, four, uh, which is pretty crazy. So we still have three to unbox today, but that explains why we just got so much good stuff last episode. If you missed it, definitely check it out. So I literally don't know what's in here. Um, like, like we always do on the manifest, we just, we don't look at it because that would just eliminate the whole point of the series. And I, if I knew what was in the boxes, it wouldn't be any fun. So I look at the title, I look at the picture and I say, sure, I'll put a bit on it. And then if we win, great. So let's get back into this again. Apologize for last episode being so good, which sounds stupid, but that explains it. And popular demand, return of the overhead camera. You wouldn't believe how many people were giving me crap about it. All right. And also popular demand. I have a box over here now so I can throw garbage and some stuff in so it's not just a massive mess on the floor. All right, so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna open all three real quick. All right, so taking your guys' feedback, overhead camera back, like I said, and now I have all three open to begin with. Just judging by what you guys want. And I just, I hate seeing this. There are so many of these. I think in every single episode, we've gotten one of these returned. The Turtle Beach Recon 50P. So I, I just assume these have a really high, you know, defect rating or an RMA. I don't know. That's, that's the big thing about these liquidation websites. People always think they're fake or this is like a whole setup episode. But the reason why we start, I, I would assume, getting a lot of repeat items in these auctions is because at, at some point, if, a, if an item gets returned, you know, so many times, or if there's like a really high defect rate, instead of restocking them and checking them themselves, Amazon just ships stuff off to the liquidation uh, warehouses. So I assume that's what happens because we always have those Turtle Beach ones. They're constantly breaking. And again, just like last episode, which worked by the way, I have it up in my bedroom, Google Chromecast. This, I don't know if you could even see, but this is completely new. This is still in the, the wrap. So someone must have bought the wrong one maybe. Maybe they needed the ultra version for 4K. But yeah, last time it worked. Now we got a brand new one again. I will uh, probably sell it on eBay or something. Beauty Magic Wonder, a 2018-2019 Kate Spade planner. Huh, see if my wife needs this. No, well, Kate Spade's popular with the ladies, like yours truly. That was horrible. All right, Rick and Morty, the 2019 16th month calendar. I mean, I know there's 12 months, so I'd assume this has the last four months of 2018 or the next four months of 2020. A little bit bent. I know there's some big Rick and Morty fans out there. I'm a fan of the show as well. So yeah, last four months of 2018 into 2019. Some Rick and Morty posters. I'm not a big poster guy, not poster. That was the thing poster this whole time. Calendar. I definitely meant calendar. That's just what happens when you start doing these things and it's all just, you know. There you go, 2019. Oh man, all right, we have a car charger. Nah, cheap stuff. What we got down here, looks like some pair of earbuds. No, this is a cable for earbuds, it looks like. 
It looks... So these are popular with IEMs, um, but the actual module is missing. It's just the cable. So far, this uh, it's a bunch of nothing. Maybe there's the earbuds in here, though. There are those two boxes. What is this? A Dash Adonit stylus. So I actually... Believe it or not, one of my first like actual reviews on this channel was like two stylus comparisons. Uh, as cringy as that, as that sounds. Uh, and this, these are actually pretty good. Um, I think that's the little drawing module, maybe not. I don't know. Odds are, oh, that's how you charge it. Uh, I thought it had like a little thing up front. Maybe it's a different version that I'm thinking of. Hmm. I have an iPad Pro, which comes with, well, you have to buy it. But uh, the uh, I, iPad Pencil, or the Pencil, whatever you want to call it, Apple Pencil. So don't know if this would even work with that, but I'll test it out later, see what's good with it. A Pile 3.5 inch weatherproof mini box speaker. An outdoor speaker, yeah, weatherproof outdoor speaker, I'd assume. And as I usually do, I will have all the prices of everything popping up. Oh! This, this is what always happens also. Every time I buy something, I get it in these, like, it was headphones, it was the doggy cam thing. Like, I feel like every time I buy something, the, the Sony lens. So this is just, a, it's a little, it's a little scale. But I, I picked these up because I'm, I ship a lot of things out, I buy and sell a lot of things. And I just bought one of these like last week. And this is literally the exact model. Still sealed up. Man, why does that always happen? I've already made a mess. I'm not sick and true to my box. Holy crap, 500 envelopes. Wow, and they, I'm not gonna count them all, but let's just say they're accounted for. Amazon basic envelopes. All right, never have to buy envelopes again for as long as we live. Let's see, get this up. Uh, underneath that, uh, let's see, I don't know. It's so hard to tell a lot of times because they're like they're in these bags and there's no like sticker or product info. Oh, this is looking like, this is a, the Leap, Leap Motion, yeah. So I remember when this came out, this was definitely before like VR and stuff, but I remember this was kind of gonna be like the next big thing and it was pretty cool because there was nothing really like, you know, AR at that time. So the Leap Motion, it looks kind of scratched up a bit. I don't even know what this would go for. I think when it first launched, it was like, wasn't it like 150 or 200 even? I don't know, cable's definitely dirty. Uh, that'd be cool if this worked. I'd, I'd be interested to see if I could hook this up and try it out, but nice, nice little pickup. A portable video player from Kuao. These are obviously big back in the day when you have like, you know, DVDs and you're going on a car ride and you just watch a DVD. It's like a little mini laptop. Let's see, is the screen busted? No, but the disk drive uh, tray is, this thing looks straight out of like 2007. I mean, look at that, nice. But it's busted. Oh, it's even got like a little screen. That like, mm -mm. yeah, there you go. <laughs> it was already broken, trust me. Uh, but I mean, I don't know the value of this even now in 2018 or 2019. Are people are people buying that still? Probably not. Last thing in this big box. I'll move that out of the way. Combine these two for you. What is this? Amazon Basics metal monitor stand. Also, oops, let me bring that down for you guys. Another metal monitor stand. We've gotten maybe two or three of these again in previous videos. So that, I, I just have to assume that's what the whole thing is with Amazon. You know, if there's a high return rate, lots of faulty items, instead of them testing it, restocking it, they ship it and then idiots like me continually buy it. <laughs> Now, it, it makes for good content though. A Casino Mini Desktop Printing Calculator. We've gotten, I think, two of these so far. So is this the third one? The first one didn't work. Um, and I just did my taxes, so. Could have used that a few weeks ago. Whoa, what do we got here? 
Uh, I don't know. Amazon Basics again. There is no detail on the box. Oh man, this is like a bunch of organized. What are these? Envelopes? Folders? Oh! <laughs> that looks like a, a ton of target practice. Whoop, that would suck. Yeah, longbow, archery, rifle, handgun, air gun. Man, lots of uh, target practice little stuff here. This thing is heavy. Give that to my brother. I assume we could use that. All right, lots of crushed boxes and so far a lot of nothing. So it explains why we got all those headphones and all that good tech in episode six. Uh, mixed media cards. I don't even know. Let's just use media cards. It's just, they're like postcards. Someone drew all over them with pencil and returned them. Unless that's just like mud, looks like maybe got like ran over by like a truck or something. Trash. Some more printer ink. The Brother LC103CLXL. Printer ink, while boring, is always a clutch find because you can always resell them. Range anywhere from 30 to 130 bucks. Typically, that, that's if it's like not used or broken or busted. Uh, these are looking opened, but oftentimes ink gets returned because I bought the wrong one. So I, I've sold pretty much every single ink cartridge we've got so far in this series on eBay, and I've not had a single return. So that means everything was good, and odds are the person who returned it and got it in here just bought the wrong size. Asus, oh nice, the ROG addressable LED light strips. Some uh, RGB lights for your PC. I'll put these aside, I could definitely use these. By the time you're seeing this video, I have a few PC builds coming up, so maybe I can put that to something. Ooh, an Xbox One controller. It's like the gray and green. Everything comes in these bags, man. Huh. So a controller being returned isn't typically a good thing, because that means it's either one of the buttons are broken, Everything feels fine though. Maybe there's a connectivity issue. Maybe the joysticks are have a lot of you know drift. Uh, but the condition-wise, this looks practically new. No scuffs, no marks. It's pretty nice. Got a little uh, controller collection going on. Put this on the good side. I just smashed my mic. Sorry if that was loud. If you notice either a loud hit or uh, it went mute for a second because I cut that out. Another VTech phone. We literally have had 20 of these VTech phones, man. They are all getting returned. Not even gonna explain the reason because I gave an actual reason of why they returned and people told me I was wrong. They told me I was an idiot, but I was right. Lots of books. Charlotte Bronte, Shirley, Villette, Withering Heights, The Tenant of Windfall. I don't even know. I don't know what this is. I'm not a big reader. Never have been. Um, I'll probably resell this. <laughs> Not so much tech. That's another thing that I was have to explain is everyone's like, well, you bought a tech return. Where's, where's all the tech? Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, another damn monitor stand. I'm not even gonna open this, but it's another damn monitor stand. Uh, the on the liquidation website, these are these are like classified as uh, office office supplies and tech, I believe, or office and tech tech accessories. I don't know. Uh, so they're often bundled together, which is why we have a lot of random tech and office supplies. Uh, it's just an ink cartridge for a, it's an ink refill for a black pen. Man, big boxes here. What's under this? Oh, nice. The green and neon pink joysticks. It was like under this box though, so hopefully the joysticks are all right. Again, with controllers, it's iffy because it means if they're being returned, odds are they didn't work. Unless the person was just like some total masculine Chad dude and did not like some neon pink up on his Switch. Uh, all right. Put that in the good pile. Hopefully. They work. What's in this box? Ah, binders. Boring school supplies. And yes, by the way, I do donate all the school supplies and little office stuff that I don't need for everyone yelling at me as if they know my life. Yes, they get donated. 
Um, a Lamshaw, some sort of watch. Uh, I don't know if it's for, probably not the Apple Watch. Doesn't really even say. Some sort of strap for it. Any sort of documentation would be good, but there is none. Might be a lost cause. Looks nice though. It's kind of like that rose gold color. I'll see if it, no, it's not for the Apple Watch, I can tell. But hey, looks nice. Probably like five bucks. Um, oh, see, I always, Amazon, I forget, also now carries like official, oh wait, this is, yeah, okay. So this is an actual official Apple uh, iPhone X case. It's like the silicone one. I thought it was a knockoff at first, but it has like that suede or whatever kind of material is on the inside. I don't even know where my phone is. Uh, huh. I'm not really like a blue case kind of guy. Yeah. This is probably like 80 bucks and the person was like, F that, I'm gonna return and get my money. I got you, man. I feel you. And a white one. This one's dirty. This is for the, well, like the 8, 8X, 8S. 8 Max, I don't even remember the names anymore. I'm not trying to sound like purposely stupid, I just don't remember their names. They have so many new XS, XR, XR Max, TJ Max. So, <clears throat> uh, the white one, maybe it's supposed to be like, yeah, I guess white. It's kind of tan at this point. Dirty, gonna get trashed. We've got a pocket sound amplifier. Also had one of these last episode and a little mini drone kind of thing at the tracker drone, gyro remote controlled four axis aircraft. Very cool name. When it comes to one of these though, you know it's not good material. This thing is as light as a piece of paper. I can't even begin to describe how cheap this probably is. This guarantee is nothing, nothing good. Uh, got the battery. USB, the propellers. This was probably like 20 bucks. And they were like, this is not what I want. And it got returned. Go in over there. And then lastly in this box is, oh, okay, okay, okay. I've seen these before. These are actually pretty, uh, pretty cool. It's an Antec VESA case. So this is like a mini ITX PC case that attaches to the VESA bracket on the back of your monitor. So you can essentially like have a PC attached to the back of your monitor, which is pretty cool. Where'd I put my knife? Damn it. Hopefully like it's in here and it, uh, I mean, it feels, this box feels pretty light, but again, with these cases, that's usually the case because it's a smaller case. Yep, there it is. Everything in good shape, good condition. Like look how tiny this case is, this is awesome. So if you want to cut down the footprint on your desktop, you know, just mount this. Uh, assume there's some sort of mounting bracket somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Probably in that box. But yeah, a very tiny, like, console-sized case. I'm just going to say it now. Be on the lookout. We're doing a very small console build. Not with this, though. This is definitely tiny. Could be cool for a, a video. If you want to see something like this, let me know. It's got there's some rattling around. Yeah, here's the bracket. Vesa bracket goes in there. If everything works with this case, I will definitely do a build if you guys want to see one. Ooh. A little propeller again. Get over there. An empty bo an empty bag. Uh, looking like just snapped, snapped pencils. Oh, that's like a, this is like some makeup stuff, but they're like snapped in half. Makeup brushes and eye pencil. Yeah, they're broken, nasty. Kobe, what is this? I, a lot of these are open too. You guys saw me open the box, I didn't. This is a major bummer of an episode. Sorry guys. Uh, this, however, is bougie. And this does look like it goes to an Apple Watch. Those are obviously not real diamonds. And about half of them are missing. So it's not like a speckled kind of design. That was probably supposed to be like, you know, some uh, some bling bling as they say. But they're half missing. Probably also 
a very cheap pickup. Some more Brother printer ink. This is brand new. A good resell. I don't have to go through all this. I got the box there. I took your guys' advice. I put the box so I could have less cleanup afterwards, but I get into the whole flow of this and I just start tossing things. Then I'm here for an hour afterwards cleaning up. You think I'll learn seven episodes by now. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. These just like trays. You mount you mount trays to the wall. Little just organizing shelves. All the good tech was in episode six. I'm sorry guys, I did not think. I told you, I, I got six boxes on the pallet. I figured, you know, common sense. I'd divvy them up three and three. I didn't know this would have four and then two to the other one and then all the good tech would be, of course, in that one box, probably, that was supposed to be here. Ugh. The last, last thing. Tossing boxes left and right. All these Amazon basics. If this is a, a garbage can or something, I'm gonna be pissed. It's gonna, if this is a garbage can, that would be a perfect metaphor for this episode. Uh, might be, uh, yeah, we got a shredder. We got a shredder on our hands. If I could shred the, uh, the footage, I would. But I know you guys want to see it. And you know what? That's, that's life. That is life. That is part of the series on Loaded. We just don't know what we're going to get. Um, and this should probably prove for all the people out there who still swear this is all fake and planned that, uh, this is... None of those things, because why would I have done a, a video and spent, what was it, the 300 something bucks on just most of this crap. The Leap Motion was cool, the, the LED light strip was cool, uh, the case was cool, the controller was cool, the switch controllers, but that stuff adds up to two, three hundred dollars. Um, we did pay 330 total. So everything here, plus that one box from episode six, I'm telling you guys, if you haven't seen episode six, watch that. It is much, much, much better. A lot more exciting things, lots of good tech. This was all junk. That's a bummer. So episode seven of Unloaded, we paid 330, and I think, oh, I forgot what it was already, like 2100 around there. I'm gonna say these three boxes combined are probably around $800 which goes to show you that around, you know, $1,500 worth of tech was just in that one box. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll put the liquidation site down below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, a little tip, because the site is kind of confusing on how to like navigate it. Uh, if you want to get like tech stuff or computer stuff, just type in like a company's name in the search bar. So what I do usually is I'll just type in Razer up top and that'll bring me to the auctions of a lot of, you know, tech PC gaming stuff. Maybe that'll have Razer stuff in it, but that's how it's like, you know, categorized and grouped. So type in Razer, type in Corsair, type in Logitech, and then you can bid on those bundles and you'll see. Uh, I, I get questions all the time about it. So yes, I know the website's confusing. That's just what I do. Uh, but you can see this time around, no razor stuff, um, no good stuff in general. If you want to feel more fulfilled after being disappointed from this episode, I'll put the playlist down below as well as so you can watch the previous six. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this horrible episode. Have a good day.